This movie will show you how to use the Activity Locking course format made by Shardell Bush which you can download in a zipped folder from Moodle.org. Once you've unzipped the folder, if you click inside it, you'll see two other folders, one called Blocks and one called Course. Inside the Blocks folder is one called Activity Locking and inside the Course folder is another one known as Format and then another one known as Locking. We then need to go to an FTP program and bring Moodle up on one side and click into the Blocks folder. Move the Activity Locking folder into the Blocks folder. And after we've done that, in our Moodle site we need to find the folder known as Course. And click into it and click inside the folder called Format and then that other folder which we saw which was known as locking inside the course folder inside the format folder we need to move that across into our Moodle. The final thing we have to do is to paste some code into a particular file. We need to look for the folder called lib and then we click inside it and we need to find the file known as moodlelib.php. Once we've found it, we edit it and we're going to paste in some code which we can have got from the moodle.org site. Just copy and paste it making sure everything has been included. It's around about line 1979, just after where it talks about the site being under maintenance. Once we've pasted it in carefully, if we save that file, then log into our Moodle as admin and click on notifications. It will bring up a whole load of tables, hopefully all saying success, that the activity locking course format has been successfully installed. So then the next thing we can do is to go to a course or create a new course. And in the course settings, as we scroll down to course format, we then have the option to choose Activity Locking. If we now go to the actual course, I have three tasks. I want the student only to be able to do task 2 when they've achieved 70% in task 1. So when I click on the lock, I'm going to make task 1 say 70% and then I'm going to scroll down and I only want the student to be able to do task 3 when they've achieved 4 out of 10 on task 2. So I select that. Then if I click Save Activity Locks, and then go on to set task 3 so that they can only do that when they've achieved a certain target in task 1 and 2. I click on the lock again, 70% for task 1, 4 out of 10 for task 2, and I merely want them to access and to do the third task, which is a choice. We can see that the tasks have been locked because they have green ticks next to them. The next thing is to access the page logged in as a student to see what happens. If I click on task 2 now, I'm not able to do it because it tells me I have to complete task 1. If I try to access task 3, again, I'm unable to do it because I have to do task 1 and task 2, so I may as well just start at the beginning with task 1 and achieve my 70%.